What's up guys, Guillaume here and welcome back to the first episode of the Intermarché Wanty Gobert Career Mode Season number 2. You've potentially seen the intro released uh, last Wednesday. If you haven't seen it, go, go do so because otherwise you will not understand anything. It's, it's a key video to watch and also it's, it's a good one, so go ahead. Um, but today marks the start of the season. We've got brand new variants. And I can swear to you, this is a variant you have never, ever seen on PCM. So enjoy the down under. But first, we've got the Aussie Championships. And even before that, we're going to take a very quick look at the planner for the season. The Giro lineup will be led by Tom Dumont and Stanislav Aniolkovsky. Uh, Podvio is there with Rota and Pasqualon, last year's heroes. Uh, but I don't expect them to do anything as good as last year. When it comes to the Tour de France, it will be obviously our Frenchman, our new signing, Clément Chamboussin, leading the team with Benny Germay, Dylan Tons, Joris Nivenus, Vering Bestrom, Van Rils, Vliegen, and Adrien Petit. Strong lineup on the uh, French Grand Tour. And finally, La Vuelta with Jasper Philipson, Luis Mentiès, Harm Van Luke, Quentin Amens, Emé de Rent, Arne Maret, Laurence Hus, and Kobe Rosens. It is a season debut for Harry Sweeney, the Orsay, making his, uh, well, I mean, also Intermarché debut. With a good day, a plus two in time trial to make it a 76 on uh, his home race, the National Championships of Time Trial of Australia. We've got two very strong candidates today, Harry Sweeney and Frank Vitsilic, our very, very young rider. Um, just, he's probably like a rookie, it's probably his first professional race. And there's a chance he could win it. Sadly, there's also a chance that Brian Dennis exists. It's a bit of a shame. And Harry Sweeney will cross the line. He is knackered, he's out of energy. But it is virtually P1, 10 seconds ahead of Luke Dorridge. Oh, it's not a good day for Vitsilic. It's not a good day for Frank Vitsilic. Ah, that's disappointing. That's disappointing. I think the title is already gone. Uh, Luke Plapp, Vitsilic, but mainly Rowan Dennis for the win. Or Harry Sweeney, but mainly Rowan Dennis. Uh, at the intermediate, Vitsilic is actually second. Uh, he took virtual P1 for a bit. I was, I was quite surprised. And yeah, so Rowan Dennis is 20 seconds ahead of him after 20 kilometers yeah that's fun that's really 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 fun i enjoyed this for his first ever race it's gonna be a podium position it is not it's it is not a, it's p8 for vitsilic today ronis is the new Aussie champion harry sweeney and luda Ridge completing the podium onto the road race now the second race of the season is underway the road championships this time can we do better than uh, the time trial well that would be a win with harry sweeney Another plus two for the former transfer of uh, Lotto Sudal, or now Lotto Nipo. I need to get used to the new names, by the way. Um, and a zero, once again, for Vitalic. So we'll probably send him in a breakaway and see what we do with Harry Sweeney later on. Uh, but we've got a few attacks already. We've got Dutton. We've got Vitalic. That's all that matters. Terrible. Terrible. It's a crash for Harry Sweeney. 102 kilometers left, and he's on the floor alongside Taj Jones. Yeah, I don't think I'm coming back. Turns out I may come back, but I'm very low on energy. I've, I'm, I've given it my best chance. 50 kilometers left. Vitsilic has been co op by the peloton, and Harry Sweeney is just unable to recover energy. We won't be the Australian champion today, unless I pull off an absolute masterclass, but it's only the second stage of the year, and I can't already do this. There's been a huge, huge move by Jack Haig at the front here. Uh, and he's actually just dropped Vitsilic, despite me going effort 91. Are you stupid? When the final hill, the final time climbing Boninyong, well, I mean, no, climbing the hill next to Boninyong because the finish is in Boninyong, so that can't be Boninyong. I've, I've said Boninyong way too much. Uh, Jack Egg cannot do any big move. Michael Matthews is not waiting for the sprint. He must feel like he's got unbelievable legs. Um, the uh, new rider of UAE, or just Emirates now. Simon Clark tries to follow. Luke Durbridge tries to bring back everyone for back exchange here. Uh, who's this? Perez. I, I thought that was like Anthony Perez for a second and I got confused because... I mean, he's French. 59 sprint and 61 acceleration. That is what we're rocking today with Frank Vitsilic. Yeah, we're, we're, we're not winning. Now, I wanted that to be known. Hold up. Let me try to maybe follow Michael Stara. Could I potentially... I've, I've actually been unable to follow him. That's, that's very sad. Maybe Simon Clark then. Maybe a potential top 10 finish today for, for Frank Vitsilic. He would deserve it. He's done nothing in his career 
to prove that he deserves it, but he does. Jai Hindley has launched his efforts. Uh, I've tried to overtake him. I don't think it's going to work. It's going to be Jai Hindley, Caleb Ewan, Caleb Ewan, Caleb Ewan, Caleb Ewan takes the first win of his season and the first win of Roto, despite having Wout Van Aert. It is potentially a put in position. It is a top 5 non for Frank Vitsevich. Strong national campaign for the Aussies this year. I'm going to warn you beforehand, expect a lot of lag in this Down Under version. Um, because it's, it's mental. I've, I've run it once. Just to, to, the stage took six minutes to load. Uh, I'm running ultra graphics. If I see it lags too much, I'll reduce the graphics for the next stage. But this is like a variant I have never played. I'll show you the parkour later on. Uh, but it's, it's a great start with a minus five on Pasqualon. Tom Dumoulin. I've asked him to be at like on high fitness for the preseason and he's at 82. I'm a bit disappointed. I'm a bit disappointed. We've got 13 kilometers left in this stage. Uh, we just crossed the IS of Happy Valley and it works. I mean, look at me right now. I'm sliding. So clearly the, the valley is working wonders. Uh, I don't know how they do it, but they did. Uh, we've got crashes. Shahman, Masnada. Great start of the season for you boys. Lovely. Um, Anjolkowski is our main sprinter with a zero today that puts him at 76 sprints. Very average stats all around uh, today for Anjolkowski. I mean, I guess that's what happens when you've got a zero. Five kilometers left. The train of DSM has increased the rhythm for Nils Seikov. You've got Christopher Alvorsen for Unoex Saxobank in the wheel. Anjolkowski has slightly lost the wheel of Lorenzo Rota, and I am not a fan of this. So please, Stanislav, do it for Poland. Yeah, I'm a big fan of your country because. Um, I just am. So please, something good. Final sprint, Lorenzo Rota. I've launched way too late, haven't I? Yeah, I've launched so late. It's wow, shocking. It's who is it? Fred Wright. Fred Wright wins ahead of Simon Sinok and Michael Matthews. It's P7 for Harry Swinney. Well, thank God there's the Tropical Amisa Bongo to uh, just give me a few wins right now. Stage numero dos. And we have the Willowing Hill. I think. Yep. But we've also got the Bangor Hill, which is a hill I have never done again on this game. Tim Lawrenceman has a very good day. Uh, Tom, not so much. But I'm going to struggle to rely on Timon for this because of this stage right there. Stage 5 uh, between Elizabeth and Mount Lofty Summit. Although Timon does have 92 fitness, there's a higher chance of him performing. Do I go Timon Lawrenceman or do I go Tom Dumoulin? Are we already going to have controversy? For the leadership in the Intermarché Wanty Gobert team after two days of racing. That would be very much something I could do, to be honest. We started the hill where the best music is listened uh, on the, the island that is Australia, the, the Banga Hill. Terrible joke, uh, which is very much in line with the terrible placement of my riders and my terrible decision to get water at the worst possible moment. Few attacks at the summit of the Wollong Hill. I presume that was for the mountain points given and not to actually uh, make an actual move. Someone called Johannesson. Uh, I think that's the brother of Tobias Harland Johannesson trying to go for a, for a little bit of an attack here. But Tom Dumoulin and Timon Arantman well positioned with 7 kilometers left. It's going to be a hill climb towards the summit of the Wollong Hill. And whoever wins, wins. And it is on that terrible insight that the climb begins. Already some attack. Primo Roglic, Egan Bernal. Why are they there? Can't you go to like the Tour of Colombia or something? Don't you have better things to do in your life than just ruin my days? Terrible decision making by a Red Bull McLaren here. And, uh, and Lotto Yombo or Yombo Vesma. I know you guys have lost World War now, but there's no need to try and fight for relegation points already. It's only the first round of the season, you'll be safe. Uh, Timon is getting blocked right there, left and center. The win today is not for this uh, rider of uh, Crédit Agricole. He's getting lapped. Egan Bernal takes the win ahead of Primus Roglic and Timon Arensman getting P3. My guy. Go on, Timon. Stage number three is on the way. Timon Arensman wearing the white jersey. He's fourth of the GC. Who didn't get dropped? Fred Wright? Fred Wright didn't get dropped? Can I fucking play? Congratulations, Fred Wright. Also, yeah, there's a glitch with Eola. I don't know why Colbrani, Moscow, and Baron Chini are just always at the top of the list, but they're, they're probably... Hmm, they've only got three riders. The first race of the season. 
And you're already running out of lineups? Boy, you're gonna struggle this year. We have a little KOM before the end, and Marcus Hulgard, that's not Marcus Hulgard, that's Tobias Halland Jonathan. Where's Hulgard? Oh, Hulgard was in the breakaway. Uh, but yeah, yeah Tobias Halland Jonathan was like, you know what? Now that's a, that, that looks like the perfect place to attack. Not sure what went through his mind, but allow it. 17k to go, and Tobias Halland Jonathan has bridged to Olivier Loyac, and he's actually dropped the French rider to make this a two man breakaway, both from Norway. Terrible, terrible crash. Tom Dumoulin, Harry Sweeney. Is that, is that really how we're going to begin this season? Don't tell me. Okay, so it's a withdrawal for neither. It's a withdrawal for Henrik Mass, as a matter of fact. That's, that's quite sad for Henrik. I'm going to pretend like I care, even though I do not. But that is quite, quite difficult for uh, Tom Dumoulin and Harry Sweeney, who've already said goodbye to any hopes of winning the Down Under. 3k to go though, Taco Van Ehorn is leading the train. I had to put Arendsman in P2 because he's the only viable racer in my team. There goes Anulkovsky. No, I thought that would be a, uh, like, a, like a flamme rouge. There, there was none, so I got kind of confused. It's a win for Nils Ekov ahead of... No, actually, probably it's Ackerman. Yeah, it's Ackerman. Ahead of Ekov, Hanorsen, Matthew Wolzenia, Anulkovsky. My sprinting has been terrible so far. Stage numero quattro. Uh, well, I mean, I guess now the leadership position is filled. We all know it's going to be Timon Arantzman because Tom Dumoulin is now 2 minutes and 33 seconds down. Uh, some are only already saying that uh, Timon Arantzman pushed Tom Dumoulin off the bike. Uh, now, as the team manager, I will neither confirm nor deny, uh, and I will plead a fifth. On sure as to why, because I have nothing to say, but just because some lawyer on TikTok told me to always be the fifth. We've entered the final four kilometers of today's stage. Um, it is a downhill sprint, so I had to be very well positioned. The frame rate is once again below par. Uh, but I, I, I've warned you, at least you can't say uh, you weren't aware. So you were. Uh, but just like every sprint this year, it's terrible. Actually, it's a podium. It's P3 for Pascualan. Fred Wright wins, but he was far off in GC, so he's not going to take anything. Uh, nothing changes GC-wise, I believe, Team Announcement, still third. There's some really interesting names in Australia, like the, the, the coming up club is called the Kud Greek. Sorry, uh, what, are you having tzatziki? Do you want to, like, dance? Like a little sataki thing? And what do you mean, you Kud Greek? It's weird. I don't... Australia's a little different. They, they really are, they really are down under. Um, thank God for that. It's a plus two today for Tim and Arantman and a plus one for Tom Dumoulin. The chances are well, on our side. Uh, now, I've played this once just to, um, to see, I mean, first of all, how long it takes to load. Uh, I've aged three years. And uh, also just to make sure that the stage had worked. I got battered. And I had Henrik Maas, and I lost a minute to Bogotar. <laughs> so, uh, to say confidence is on my side would be an understatement. This rhythm is crazy. I rigid. We've made it back. But fucking hell, there's no need to just, like, accelerate like that. Jesus. 25k to go, and we've climbed the crafters once uh, up next is Mount Lofty. 12 kilometers average gradient of 5% for the Mount Lofty. Uh, there is a group of 10 that's literally been trying to come back for about 15 kilometers now. Uh, and they never did. But now that they have some added support here through uh, the likes of Roman Zange, maybe for Remy Rochard, I don't know if Roman Bardet is there for. Um... How is Comp. Wait, what? I'm sorry. What jersey is that? Oh, that's Mountain. Okay, I, I thought the components was based on Rada for a second. I was starting to panic. Uh, but we've got a few attacks. Nielsen Paulus, Pavel Sivakov, Jai Hindley, Stora, Belbao, Johan. Where's Bernard? There. And Sivakov attacks a, a Red Bull McLaren read with interesting tactics here. Um, maybe using the, the, the second driver as a bit of a bait. He's going for, uh, for the undercut right there. Thomas taking the helm of the peloton. Uh, it's, it's a high rhythm by, uh, by Timon Arantzman. Enough to come back on Pavel Sivakov. We've dropped a few riders. The latest ones to be dropped are Branwick Nolte. 
that is quite big for UAE. Didn't think he would drop this early, if, I, uh, if I'm being very honest with you. But, all right, go on. Ben is there, Primo Froglich, Shock, he's there. And we've got 4.7k. The final um, three kilometers are, I'm not going to say flat, but they're flatter. So they could provide uh, a, an easier slope for Timon Arantman. Some more riders getting dropped. Thomas Schultz being one of them. Uh, Hugh Carthy and Ivan Souza are also the, the most notable riders. Valter has been gone. Tobias, no, it's, again, it's the other Johannesson. Mohoric has dropped. Shame. It's not going to be this Slovenian that wins. It's going to be the other one. 2.7k to go and attack by Nielsen Palace. As my frame drop has dropped. We've used the gel. We're going 9c. Can we come back on Nielsen Palace? Or will the uh, American rider take the first win of his season? It appears that he will not. Timon? Jai Henley. Quinn Simmons. Quinn Simmons wins. I've launched way too early. I've launched way too early. I hadn't done the finish. I mean, I, I've been smoked by like two minutes, so I gave up. But, uh, yeah, I launched a bit early. P7 for Timon Arnsman. Quinn Simmons is going to jump in the GC. Uh, there's a potential chance that Nielsen Palace does as well. So, it's going to be P5. And... Uh, P4 at best, P5 at worst today. It is the final stage of this Tour Down Under. Uh, like the previous stage, uh, I've aged by another 53 years, loading it in. So it better not be a P8 for Stanislav and Um Also in the news, for those who followed my channel for a while, you know that I have a tendency to win sprints with unlikely riders. Now, I'm not a mathematician, but... If there is 10 seconds given at the end, and the current gap between myself and P1 is 8 seconds, there is a world in which a sprint win from Timon Arantman means that I win the GC. Uh, so that's what we're doing today. I have noticed that because of Quinn Simmons winning, we've lost the white jersey with Timon Arantman. Um, so, yeah, now we need to, to try to get it back. We, we will. So a podium, well, P2 gives me the white jersey back. A win gives me the best one, the orange jersey of leader of the Santos Tour Alanda. Who are you? Eduardo Savini, I swear to God. Your name might not be Eduardo, but if you block me, well, you won't have a name, because you'll be deceased. I may be a bit extreme for just pushing someone in a video game. So I will retry that statement, but still. Um... Couple of corners right there. There goes Pasqualon. There goes Anjolkovski. Timur Arnsman does not go. At least the podium, please, I beg. Oh, Halvorsen, oh, for fuck's sake, is to win for Nilsikov, Hef, Birman, Salvorsen, Fred White, and another fifth place for Anjolkovski. Very disappointing to Dananda. Only two podiums for us in this Dananda and a P4 on a GC. Would have liked to, to, to see a bit more. All right, the lighting has slightly changed, uh, but we're in Spain. I wanted to do this race. Uh, we'll do, I think, the four trofeos, because they're always quite fun to do. Um, and also, it is a debut for a lot of riders, including Jasper Philipson. So I figured he would get his, uh, um, his time on the camera. Uh, but yeah, new lightning, new day. And for me, a new age, because uh, I aged by one uh, between the first board between the down under and today. I feel like a new man. That's a lie, I don't know. The main hill of the day, the Col de San Matala, proved to be challenging-ish for some of the riders, but everyone has made it. Jasper Philipsen is in the prime positions of the group. Uh, we've got a three-man breakaway up front with Heinzka, Alberti and uh, Mikel Biscara. One minute, 34 kilometers. We'll have a mass sprint today in Spain. Some riders have attempted to attack. Uh, and to be fair, it's, it's working. You've got Lucro, Ida Helling. I, I don't know why they attacked. Uh, maybe to, to prevent a sprint from happening. But they decided to all stop. So, in, uh, in, interesting tactics, I think. Five kilometers. Emedehent will soon take the group. There we go. There goes Emedehent. We're going to stop Quinton Ames. Solid job today by, uh, by Quinton. Didn't have to do much, but what he did, he did well. And that's all we need. Uh, if Ethan Ata could like not block me, that would be very much appreciated. 2k to go. There goes Arno Maret. Philipson is well placed. Philipson is going to get blocked by the hands for fuck's sake. 
If I lose because Emi Durant blocked me, I'm gonna be very angry. I've lost because Emi Durant has blocked me. Second day in Spain, and this time we've got some hills uh, up on us. It is the start for Luis Mentes this season. Van Hooker with uh, some very good race conditions and good stats. Didn't remember signing him when he had 76 mountain, but we'll take it. Quinton Hammond is also here, should uh, he be able to help? Emi Durant with a very strong day. Now, overall, Overall, a good team. It's a shame that Mencius has a minus two, though. Uh, but a good team overall. And it, I thought that was Lorenzo Rota for a second. I was like, I swear he writes for me. We're in the call of Feminath. Uh, Emi Durant is at the back. Uh, Van Hooken and Mencius are trying to hold on at the front. A lot of our riders dropping positions right, left, and center. Primarily center for Lorenzo Um We'll see if we can stay at the front. I think Ham can do it. I'd be really, really glad if Emi Durant was to, uh, to stay up there. Wasn't an easy task, but Durant is in the wheel of Arm Van Luka. So we're actually in a good position right now. Some attacks at the front of the peloton. Let's make sure that this group doesn't go. Uh, led by Christian Rodriguez, the brother for um, Red Bull McLaren. But we seem to be in a, yeah, in a good place. 25 riders up front. And there's an attack right now from Marvin Van Sevenant. Actually, okay, let's I can't follow it. Okay, good. The rent is gonna rest. And there goes Van Hooker. At the top of the downhill portion. Don't know if anything's gonna happen. Would be fun to try to attack though. And also we climb the uh, Col then Bleda no number two apparently. Uh, but we're just gonna have a high rhythm with Ham Van Hooker. We're gonna go for a meter today. We're gonna go for Ahmed Durant. Uh, he's got the better race condition, the better hill stat, and by far the best sprint, sprint stat, sorry. Uh, and also he's an OG of the team, so he deserves to have a chance more than our Nuka. Our Nuka has proven nothing yet, whereas Ahmed Durant was a, kind of a goat last season with us. But good climb for, uh, for Harm here. Really, really putting the pressure up, and it's gonna put Durant in an ideal position with 4k to go. 2k left. There goes Harm Van Luka. Emi Durant in the wheel. There goes Emi. 800 meters. Come on. He's in first place right now. He just needs to hold on. And he's going to win the Trofeo de Ia. And he does. And he does. Emi Durant takes the win ahead of Juan Ayuso. And Andrea Baggioli. Juan Ayuso is at most. I swear he moved to... Wait, no, no, no. Actually. Wait, no, 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 no. I thought he had moved better. He hasn't. Dia numero tres in Espana, and we have the Trofeo Polenta. No, Polenta. Polen, Polenta is a type of, uh, of food. I'm, I'm not hungry, it's just 10.30 and I like Polenta. Either way, we move. It's a zero for Van Luka, a plus two for Louis Mencius, a plus three for Lorenzo, and a plus three for Quinton Armands. Could we take another win today? And there's been a crash in the peloton, blocking a few of the riders, mainly dropping some riders in the A1 with Jasper Philipson being dropped. Uh, and also Emi Durant and Arne Van Luka. I guess the legs didn't recover from yesterday's uh, events for them, or just they had uh, too much of La Bière des Amis. Uh, but yeah, they, they dropped. I mean, the crash didn't help, but they also dropped. dropped. So I guess it's, it's going to be all about Louis Mentiès and Quinton Hammonds today. Attack by Manuel Buchmann, trying to catch Andrea Baggioli. Uh, actually, is it an attack or just an acceleration for his leader? I don't know. Uh, Ida Schelling just progressed a lot. Jesus. Okay, interesting. And with 20k to go, we've got a solo rider up front from uh, Mape, and that is Badjoli. Then Buchmann leads, I'm gonna guess, they are riding indeed for Ida Schelling. Uh, Rodriguez is struggling. Uh, you know what? Let's attack with Quinton Evans. Because he's kind of dead right now. So let's try to anticipate a move. And then see what happens. See what for okay, everyone seems to follow. I see. I mean I somehow so somewhat planned that, but maybe didn't want it to happen, if that makes sense. Laurent Us is gonna increase his rhythm, Mentius is going to increase his rhythm as well. Quinton Evans has been co op by the Peloton. More attacks, Schelling, Jack Haig, Sivakov. 1k to go. Alright, come on. Come on. Alright, oh, oh, easy. Easy. Easy does it. I think. Come on, Luis. Surely I've got the energy to come back. It's gonna be close. It's gonna be a very close battle. 
between Sivakov and Mentias, but I think I've launched slightly too late. And the lack of acceleration doesn't help. It's a win for Pavel Sivakov ahead of Rimentias and Jack Egg. It's a shame. I had done the climb very well. I had done very, very well in this climb. But sadly, uh, no cigar for Louis Mentias. No Spain, but France today for the Grand Prix cyclist La Marseillaise. Uh, the chance to say hello to Pini Guillermo for the first time this season. Uh, the uh, Eritrean goat back on cycling road after a nice uh, winter break for him. Also the chance to say hello to some of our new signings. And I mean, the big ones. Dylan Tunes, Joris Nivenus, and Clément Champoussin. The rhythm has really been uh, well, quite high in, uh, in this race so far in this Grand Prix Marseillaise. Very rare. Usually you see the accelerations like in this coming a hill, but no, we've had some attacks. And Ramador leads. Did I see Chris through? Yep. Back to SPCM 2010 start. And Vegan led a high tempo across this hill here to just dive into this downhill. Leading the race, Champoussin in P2, I mean Sivakov P3, but technically it should be Bini Germay. Uh, although I may get dropped doing so, so I don't know if it's a very wise decision. No, okay, he's gonna come back. Um, not a lot of energy on Bini. Hopefully he has enough to cross the line in first place. There goes the final sprint, two kilometers left. Champoussin is soon going to kick out. There we go, there goes Clément Champoussin. Not seeing any proper sprinters next to me here. So I'm quite confident I can take it. There we go. Binigamai takes it ahead of Aurélien Paris-Pentre and Cyril Barthes, Champoussin P4. But it's one day and one win for Binigamai. Get in there. I'm not dead. Today, the uh, K11 Great Ocean Road Race. The team is not happy to be there. Clearly. Yeah. They're, 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 they're just not, not happy. Um, we'll rely on Alikovke, not the best of down under. If he could do a better Seagull, maybe, maybe he could actually put a decent signing. We're in the final lap. 14k to go until we reached Gilong for the final time today. Alikovke has already dropped, uh, I mean, dropped positions, not dropped, dropped on like Taco and Harry Sweeney, who dropped for no apparent reason. I, mean, I don't know, maybe he's at home, he, he's uh, someone of his family in, in the crowd, and he was like, yo, it's been a while, he could die in that. And you got more attacks right before the end. Uh, we've got Katkowski, Cole Brady, Van der Poel, Tish Bonnet, and Bob Jungold. Well, uh, time to chase. Then I guess Tom Dumoulin leads. We're going to come back, right? Yeah, we're going to come back. I am confident we are going to come back. Is that Jordi Meus? Already attacking. Interesting. It's a very good effort from, uh, from Dumoulin. All right, there goes Pasqualon. Come on. I feel like the train for Gaviria is a lot better position than me. Micha is going to get co-op. Gaviria, Chokes, Van Asbrook. I've lost to Tom Van Asbrook. He's not even the best van in his team. I've lost to... Wow. Is this my heritage on VCM? I get beaten by Tom Van Asbrook. Alright, let's then take a look at what happened in the stages I did not show. Already 8 wins in this month of January. Uh, we did well. The first three stages of the Tropical Misa Bongo, and then I started simulating them. Hence the losses. <laughs> um, on the Volta San Juan, we got three stages. Uh, we also finished, I think, second of the GC with Georg Zimmerman, um, and two wins for Hugo Page, absolute goat. Uh, and the two wins you've seen, which uh, were Benny Germain in Marseille and Emil de Rent in Spain. In the next episode, um, we'll most likely have the UA Tour and the Omlo, uh, and also a few races. Uh, out of our calendar. So if you guys want to see any races, just let me know. We've got Bessege, Saudi, Provence, Antalya, Algarve, and Tour du Var. If there's any race that you want to see particularly, let me know. I'll see if it's a good one at least. Um, but yeah, I'll see you for the UAE Tour, which is going to be probably Monday. I really hope you've enjoyed the episode. Uh, thank you again for the support on this series. This is mind-blowing. Like, it's the end of PCM21, and you guys are just the best. So thank you for everything and I'll see you very very soon. My name is Guillaume. Have an amazing day. Yeah. Pass me the funk, get your funk on girl and don't you ever let Pass me the go. funk. We're getting drunk in here and what comes next?